The last time that we could say we had something that resembled baseline rates of syphilis was 2014, 2015. Um, since then, we've seen a 13-fold increase in syphilis cases in Manitoba. It's being called a resurgence. Syphilis cases are rising across the country but are prevalent in the prairie provinces, and Winnipeg is a hot spot. According to federal reports for March 2022, the national rate of infectious syphilis increased from 5.1 per 100,000 population in 2011 to 24.7 per 100,000 population in 2020, with the prairies reporting a more than 400 percent increase from 2016 to 2020. Although rates in males are still higher, from 2016 to 2020, rates among females increased by 773 percent compared with 73 percent among males. There's been a dramatic shift in the epidemiology and that a lot more women are getting this. As a matter of fact, we've seen a 40-fold increase in the number of women getting diagnosed with syphilis in the past few years in Manitoba. Pregnant mothers can pass on syphilis to their newborn, known as congenital syphilis. Prior to 2018, there hadn't been a case of congenital syphilis in Winnipeg since 1977, but since 2018, there have been 60 cases. It can affect essentially any part of your body, from your brain to your heart, to your skin, to your internal organs. Um, and when it infects babies in the uterus, it can be, have a devastating lifelong impact, including uh, neurological development. Uh, bone formation, tooth formation. Syphilis progresses in stages for both infants and adults and can be treated if caught soon enough. A single treatment with penicillin can cure early infection. Uh, in later stages, a couple of treatments will treat it, or three treatments. In, in the very, very late stages, it requires intravenous therapy, and at some point, the, the changes are not reversible anymore, which is why it's really important to catch people with syphilis as early as possible. According to the province of Manitoba, case counts of infectious syphilis for 2019 were 1,879, the highest number in more than 50 years. Syphilis is spread through oral anal and genital sex. Dr. Legacy Ween says it's paramount society normalizes sexual health screening and encourages safe sex to increase prevention. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.